before understanding the st variation and current of injury i would like to give you a, a very good conceptual example so that it may get more uh, clear hi friends i'll be studying about uh, j point on the ecg now so our second topic is current of injury or it is also called as injury potential now i'm uh, before going on to whiteboard i would like to give you a very brief example very conceptual example that will help us to understand what is current of injury or injury potential and how it how it is traced on ecg that is to say how we perceive it on ecg and how we correlate that with the injury actual injury uh, in the heart and how it actually uh, works okay. all right now i have a glass of water in my uh, in this hand and this is empty glass all right now this uh, just uh, uh, assume it as a uh, action potential going in the heart and it is exciting the membrane and so that uh, after that it may get depolarized now it is a healthy membrane and as i pour this water onto this as you may see none of the water is, uh, no water is spilling out all the water is going as a form of action potential and it will contract now this is just an example to say now for example this is an action action potential and now it will going on to this injured uh, myocardium all right this is injured from here you may see that now uh, i am using that uh, this backup glass i am putting this in this backup glass so that it won't spill on to me all right now i am uh, pouring the action potential and let's see what happens and how we see see the concept is that the action potential is going all right the heart is depolarizing and how we are perceiving this on ecg likewise this is an analogy and how i will explain all right now i am pouring this now you will see how we are, how we will perceive this in short all right now here we go now you can see the outer glass filling up and the inner glass uh, just getting empty you may see because it was injured now i hope that you got my meaning that this injured put, uh, this injured heart is letting allow the uh, what is the water flowing from out, flowing outside from this and this way we can see now this is the analogy that as the action potential goes into this the water uh, seeps out from the injured area and we can see here so this is the example that we uh, will apply on the ecg that how the injured uh, myocardium show on to the ecg now this is the conceptual part now we will discuss in the whiteboard tutorial to save your time i have already sketched the most important part of the lecture now we will uh, discuss these points now here uh, i have made the normal ecg patterns as you can see now uh, to tell you about its uh, important part this is the baseline of the ecg uh, it is the baseline uh, which uh, uh, where we see the upper and lower deflections of the ecg as we can see here this is p wave this is qrx and t wave all right and this is q and this is s wave so these are the deflection from which we measure the it uh, it is measured from the baseline all right now p wave represent the action potential traveling from the s node to all uh, all parts of atria and then the p wave is from now from p wave as we can see the as the wave of depolarization travels all the outer part becomes at the end of the qrs as it is written the inner part becomes that that is the cellular internal entire cellular part become positive and the outer parts become negative now uh, after the end of qrs you may see the uh, this line which we discussed that is a j point now this is important because here there is no net potential recorded by the ecg uh, machine so here it is an important part where we can see any if any part is injured Uh, which we will discuss later that can be shown in the ecg all right now all, we may say that the first uh, uh, scrutiny area of ecg all right now after that end of uh, now uh, after depolarization all the uh, the contract this will contract ventricle will contract this is the left and this is the right and the ejection would be followed after that repolarization will ensue now we can see here that uh, by the depolarization all the membrane will get uh, polarized and we can see the positive charge distribution outside and negative charge in in this side inside the uh, uh heart uh, myocardium that is the uh, myocytes and this is the normal pattern all right so now we uh, have to 
focus that the net depolarization vector here will be now zero there would be no vector here also so zero vector and zero vector that is to say end of t wave we can see that tp segment this is tp segment which is isoelectrical uh, lying on the baseline which uh, where the uh, net voltage is zero relatively all right now this is very important because these two area actually the scrutinical area of the ecg uh, where we need to understand the most now here comes the abnormal part where we may get sv variation uh, tp line segment <coughs> due to that all right now uh, I am showing not and I am not showing the P wave part all right this we have discussed and it is not of uh, interest also first of all uh, for example the star is an injured area all right now first of all uh, let us focus on its star injury pattern now as we know that the sodium potassium pump maintains the uh, hypopolarization state that is 3 Na outside and 2 K inside the membrane and this piece sodium potassium pump now uh, when the uh, there is injury for any for example mechanical trauma infection or ischemia we find that these are not functional as because the atp is not produced by the cell now uh, it is so it will lead to the slightly depolarized state by uh, slightly depolarized state i mean that if we have a membrane here and the membrane will get always positive here and negative outside that is the depolarized state we can represent here all right this is positive inside the cell and this is negative radiating so you will get uh, that from here we represent the vector like this because in ecg this is very important that the vector point always to the positive direction so here outside we and also the uh, interstitial charge it is the interstitial charge which matters not the intracellular all right this is this doesn't matter for ecg it is this charge which is recorded so you have to see that it is a magnetic charge outside and which carries the potent current of injury vector all right so uh, when we see the snapshot of uh, depolarization process this is the naughty vector produced by this injured area which is abnormal and for example the vector should have been like this but the vector is not like this and this is the naughty vector takes a place all right now this is the basic uh, concept behind the st variation and you right now uh, going on to our basic part we see here that uh, after the end uh, this is the snapshot also so as we saw, saw that this is the naughty vector sign which is overcoming this uh, happy vector sign but this is not uh, happy anymore so this naughty vector have taken the place and now this is the actually this is the pattern we see on ecg that how the st or how the qrs pattern is uh, changed or as the st variation take place now these are the conceptual points which those are the consequences of this uh, fsr variation of electrical disturbance now again important part that is to say when all the uh, at the end of qrs all the uh, by green i mean to say that it outer side is negative and internal side is positive that is the depolar all the part is depolar now that injury of potential that the foci of uh, injury that is it is a focus foci or focus it is not a no more a black ship by black ship i mean to say that uh, when it was uh, not depolarized it was giving the vector but now it is not able to give vector because all are depolarized it is very crucial point that all are now internally positive and externally negative so it won't give uh, any negative vector sign that is to say we will get an XL, uh, isoelectric line at j point now the concept lies here now this is creating the J point here because all of the consequences of previous electrical disturbances are now reflected here. So J point would not be on the isoelectrical line as we saw here. See, it is a J point which was an isoelectrical line but this is no more on isoelectrical line because these were the vectors created and which resulted onto this uh, a new segment. Now another important point when it will start uh repolarizing for example now this vector will come again all right now 
at the end of this when the uh, all the it is repolarization process all right repolarizing phase we are moving heading towards repolarizing now here it is completely repolarized now this black ship is once more in front of everyone this black ship is the injured area now we can see the vector here now as we know after the end of t wave we expect also now the T, uh, tp segment uh, that this is, which is the isoelectrical normally but it would not be isoelectrical because there is a vector going on between two heartbeats heartbeat 1 and heartbeat 2 now it is 2 now after that obviously the tp segment uh, determine the two heartbeat so between two uh, two heartbeats there would be a vector inj uh, injury vector injury vector which will take over the normal isoelectrical line so it is actually the tp segment variation which is reflected onto the j line uh, it is clearly evident that uh, tp segment is distorted but on ecg we don't see it as uh, distorted but in fact we uh, see this changes on j point so thanks for being with me till now and uh, keep tuned for third video which is mo uh, which is the most crucial part of this series thank you goodbye